That's your opening right there. Yeah. Beautiful. My name is Matthew Ward and I work in layout and pre-visualization for Image Movers Digital, which is a Disney-operated company here in the Bay Area. I went to a film school initially wanting to study animation, and it was a design film school, Savannah College of Art and Design, and I learned slowly that film was something I really loved, and as I started to um, take more and more film classes, I took most of my animation classes and kind of combined them with film and learned uh, how to apply film techniques and film storytelling using animation as a medium. So that really helped me hand in hand to getting a job with Lucasfilm eventually. Um, but the biggest step was getting an internship with Industrial Light and Magic here in San Francisco. Since then I've been working with uh, numerous uh, big directors like uh, Steven Spielberg, the Wachowski brothers, and currently I'm working with Robert Zemeckis. I've been working with Bob for the past uh, four films and it's been a lot of fun. When I was in college um, I didn't know about Previs and when I went and interned at ILM I, I learned about it. And, and it made sense when I got back. Here it is, it's film and it's animation, it's together. And it's exactly what I was doing already. So what I did is that last year in school, I, I tailored my, my reel and all my work to, to fuel that and to demonstrate that I knew how to handle it and how to do it. And luckily it paid off, because uh, out of college I was hired to come work at Lucasfilm on the Star Wars prequels. My films in college, I would always try to add some visual effects to them. I'd try to either be, do something practical or get it into the computer and try to put some kind of laser beams or whatnot or uh, gunshots and stuff and, and really enhance the films that I was doing and that, that really helped contribute to uh, what I do today still and that is taking this, this low res digital format and still beefing it up as much as we can to get the, the point across to tell the story shot for shot. I, I'm always working within an art department and with a production designer or with art directors and working with the cinematographer and the directors and, and this, this huge crew of people that once a script's been written they, they, they dissect it and they tear it apart and analyze it and start to build ideas um, and, and take them from their head and put them on paper and make them real and, uh, uh, and start to cut those down. That's, that's exciting. That's always been the most exciting part. And then they develop and you see them mature and you see them grow and evolve into what is eventually that final film you see up in the theaters. I thought it would be really neat to take two of these little cameras and build uh, an at-home, do-it-yourself kind of stereo rig where it would allow you to shoot 3D, walk around with these cameras and actually do 3D work. And so right now, um, I have a good friend of mine back at the office and I are putting together some, uh, some footage to test that out right now. We're building a little stereo uh, do-it-yourself kit with the, the Vado cameras. It's a, it's a plate, it's what we call a stereo plate, and it would have two cameras that sit on top of it, and then it attaches to a regular tripod. So either you can walk around with this by yourself, handheld, or you can attach it to a tripod and lock off your shots, which actually is better to do when you're trying to do 3D. It even, doesn't matter what the, 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 the tool is. You, know, you can shoot with a little camera or a big camera, but composition is composition. The great, the great thing about the Vado camera is, is its portability and it's, it's ease of use. And the fact is it's got the USB cable built right into it. Um, every Vado camera comes with an HD cable so you can actually plug it right up to your HD TV and watch the footage that's coming out of it. Um, and the new ones now have the audio in. But the best part about this camera is that it's got probably the widest angle lens that I've seen on a handheld camera. And I think it's really important when you're, when you're in a situation that you want to be able to get as much coverage as possible, that you can have that tighten up close and still get what you want to get instead of having to step back and keep reframing and reframing to get what you want. So um, I think that's, that's really cool. And in fact, that wide angle lens is what helps 3D actually work. If we didn't have such a wide angle lens on the Vata, we wouldn't be able to do what we're trying to do with it. So that's kind of cool. Well, it's not going to work. <laughs>